one of the things we talk about in the class is that it's easy for amateurs and even professionals when they're stressed to get tunnel vision. So here we are on a university campus and it's beautiful and idyllic. Imagine there was an active shooter situation. You and I would home in on that. That'd be really important actually to keep a broader perspective, um, right? To make sure there wasn't another shooter, to make sure that we didn't step in front of a car. Um, that's one of the things that separates, I think, professionals from amateurs, um, is that ability. I shared with the students a story. I was an emergency medical technician a long, long time ago, um, and I was involved in an accident, present at an accident, where I focused on a really gory injury when I should have prioritized in other ways, kept bigger visibility, um, taken spine stable uh, on this person. And when we debriefed it afterward, I kind of realized that. So the workshop gave the students this kind of flavor of What's it actually like to be a first responder? Like, what does that mean? What are the things that good first responders do? And one of the things that I hope is that they take that into their own lives, right? Because they're going to be present in car accidents. Hopefully, they're never going to be present with other more disastrous situations. But um, that's one thing I really like about how the class came together is that it gave them this real flavor of what these people do and what they do when they do it well on a day-to-day -day basis.